In 1907, here in the little town of Fairhope, Alabama, it was on this 10-acre site that Marietta Johnson founded one of the first progressive schools in the country. Today, the same site serves as the Fairhope campus of Faulkner Community College. The historic Bell Building, which was the original organic school, now houses the Marietta Johnson Museum. Good morning and welcome to the Organic School. My name is Marietta Johnson, but my students call me Aunt Mettie, so you can call me Aunt Mettie if you like. Each one of your children is a very special part of an exciting experimental school that I started in 1907 right here in Fairhope, Alabama. And my dream for your children today is the same as it was then that their school provide for them the opportunity to enjoy a sound, accomplished body, a sympathetic, intelligent mind, and a sweet, sincere spirit. That's what I mean when I say organic education. Now come on in and I'll tell you a little bit more about our school. By the time your children leave the organic school, I hope they've learned one very important lesson and that is the love of learning, simply for the sake of learning. Not to please their teachers, not to outshine their fellow classmates, or even make you parents proud of them. They will want to study and learn simply for the joy that it brings them to discover the secrets that nature and life have waiting for them. In fact, at the organic school, we don't have tests or grades or even homework in the earlier life stages. Aunt Mettie believes strongly that your children should enjoy their childhood and that their playtime is just as important as their class time. So as long as they come to school on time, and I'm very serious about that point, and as long as they do their very best, when the time comes, they will easily pass to the next life stage. Now, as I said, the children will not have any homework in the earlier life stages, but I will be sending some home for you parents. And it's very important that you understand what we will be doing here at school and be a part of this great adventure. So for your homework, I ask that you read something to your children each night and ask them if they have any questions about what you have read. And while your children are at the organic school, I want them to ask me questions about whatever it is that interests them or simply causes them to wonder. It is very important to me that our children keep their sense of wonder and their love of learning their entire lives. After all, education is life and not simply a preparation for life. While they are very young, I will be most concerned with providing your children with ample opportunity to enjoy nature. At the organic school, they will have the freedom to see the world around them, not as their teachers say they should, but the way they see it, with their unique, childlike eyes of wonder. In the past, we did not focus on how many books our students could read before they turned age seven, but their teachers read to them each day. And by the time their little eyes and nervous systems were sufficiently developed, they were reading with ease. Today, each of our students reads whenever he or she is ready. At the organic school, your children will learn folk dances and how to make all kinds of things with their hands, like baskets and clay pots. As they get older, they'll have the chance to work in the wood shop, where former students have built sailboats as well as classroom tables and chairs. Former students have even made beautiful silver jewelry. In fact, today I'm wearing some of the pieces made by my former students years ago. Seniors even had the freedom to design their own class rings. Some were round, some were oval like this one, some were square, and some even had a stone like this pretty one made by Betsy Sable, who graduated from the organic school in 1947 and went on to make her living as a silversmith in Fairhope. Over the years, Betsy taught the art of making silver jewelry to our students at the organic school. There are many examples of fine silver jewelry and other works of art created by former organic school students at the Marietta Johnson Museum where visitors are always welcome. 
It is always a joy for us here at the Organic School to watch your children change and grow over the years. Each of them is made with a special purpose, and it is our job at the Organic School to help them make that discovery. The Marietta Johnson School of Organic Education continues to serve the children of Fairhope today. Using Marietta Johnson's progressive philosophy of education, the school continues to nurture the minds, bodies, and spirits of its students. The Four Acre Campus is located on Pecan Avenue, just off of South Section Street. Financial aid is available and inquiries can be made by calling the school's director at 251-928-9347. The Marietta Johnson Museum is located at 10 South School Street in the West Wing of the historic Bell Building on the original Organic School campus, which is now Fairhope's Faulkner Community College. The museum is open to the public Monday through Friday from 2 to 4 p.m. or by special appointment. You can reach the museum director at 251-990-8601. As I look into the future of this special little school, I can see that for years to come, even after I'm gone, my spirit will live on at the organic school. Its dedicated teachers will continue to nurture the minds, bodies, and spirits of its students, helping each one discover his own unique potential.